Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our 2016 Toyota Hilux double cab with the 3 litre D4D engine, manual gearbox. This is the Invincible top of the range with all the leather and a few other accessories on the vehicle that we'll go through. The vehicle's covered just over 19,000 miles from new with full service history. I know this vehicle very well as it's been my vehicle for the last year and uh, everything's been done up to date on the car. I've put a few accessories on the vehicle. I've just upgraded it to the new shape. So let's take you around the vehicle and uh, I'll show you a few things that we've changed. The first, uh, the first being I've changed the headlight bulbs because uh, for any of you that have seen these vehicles, they've got the normal lights with the very yellow bulbs we've changed the side light bulbs and the main beam bulbs it just gives it a much nicer brighter look we've also put the hilux um, bonnet guard on the top there which is a like a smoked plastic and that matches with the window covers that we've got up on there as well so the whole car has been machine polished it's come up really nice, I have to say. Sort of wondering whether I should have got rid of it now or be selling it, I should say. And uh, spent all that money on the other one because this is a really nice vehicle. And the other thing I've done with this vehicle is I've given it the Celtic remap. And it wasn't really, we don't want to drive these cars fast, but it just has a much more fluent drive um, the turbo comes in a bit more. They're rated at 171 brake horsepower, but the Celtic Remap takes it up to 237, but you get 372 pounds per foot of torque. So uh, with the, the manual gearbox is really nice and slick, and uh, it, it just drives effortlessly. So I'll just show you all the grills, all the front of the car really nice i think there was a couple of little stone chips that we've touched in and mopped just here you can catch them in the light you can just catch it there in the reflection very minor all the windscreens in lovely condition we come up onto the roof there's no damage up there as you can see we've got some lights on this vehicle now we've also got lights they all come on together down in the front grill here and they, uh, they're yellow flashing lights. And uh, they were on the vehicle. I was hoping when I bought it that they might be just white lights, but they've actually come in quite handy on a few occasions, especially when the motorway traffic's stopped and I've had to slow down hard. But the car has come up so nice. And the, the mileage, as I say, is 19,000. I bought this car with uh, 11,500. And one of the first things that I did was change all the tyres for the BF Goodrich all-terrain tyres. So they've only done about 6,000 miles, roughly, these tyres. They've got such a lot of tread on them. Let me just come in. There you go. They're still, like, new, to be honest with you. And also, on the last MOT, one, one of the springs had a crack in it, and I just got them to change both. So both front springs have been done on the vehicle. We've got the tinted glass at the rear as well. The side steps, everything's in really nice condition. And then, if you know these vehicles, the, um, the chassis there, which we've, we've just sprayed in black, uh, it was black before, but you just get a few little like rusty splodges on it. Uh, they all, they're all the same, even my new one's the same. And uh, we've just sprayed it all to tidy it all up and make it look nice for the next owner. If you look down the side of the vehicle and see how sharp it looks. And again, with the rear of the vehicle, all of the tow bar bar, and you can see those lights down at the bottom. I'll come in a bit closer. But we've just tidied up and resprayed all of the tow bar and all of the hitch has been cleaned. See just how nice it all is. The rear bumper's got a couple of little 
dingy scratches there, very minor. But the tailgate's in really nice condition. We've got rear camera on this car as well. We've got the mountaintop back, which is really handy. And I was sort of like thinking, oh, would it be better to have the sliding one, which I've got on the other truck? But uh, these are actually very practical. And uh, I bought some chimney pots for the garden and I wondered if I was gonna be able to put them in the back. And sure enough, I managed to put them in the back, leave the top up and just gently drive back with it all tied in nicely. So it worked out quite well. And I believe from what people tell me, these are a little bit more waterproof than the sliding ones as well. Just show you the rear wheel there as well. And then just in there, all of the panels are nice, all the side steps, really nice condition. If you're looking for one of these, like I was at the time, this was the nicest one, the lowest mileage that I could find. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just come up really nice. It drives so well. I mean, the old, the, at this age, they're slightly more ag agricultural than the, uh, the later one, but uh, it does have that bit more power, which is quite nice. So let's take you round, excuse me, let's just take you round. All the wing mirror covers are all, there's not, they're not damaged or anything like that. They're all in lovely condition. Just so we'll open up. Now on the inside of a lot of these vehicles, the plastics get quite badly damaged. Um, but this is actually very good. Another reason why I purchased this one and there will be the odd little, and I'll point them out. You're gonna get little marks like that. And when you purchase these trucks, that is actually in really nice condition. You know, for its age, all the shuts are nice. It's not all worn off on the edges, the paint. All the carpets are nice. Now I did order a set of mats, but I think that Toyota have given me the wrong mats, so we couldn't put them in the car. I think they've confused this with the other vehicle that we've got. And as I say, the gearbox is really nice. Everyone was saying, oh, you should get an auto, but do you know what? I think I prefer the manual. You've got a lot more control over the power um, for pulling away or holding the gear change if you're going to tow. I've not needed to tow with this vehicle at all. all of the seats and the leather. That little dent mark is just where we've just been leaning in the car, cleaning the dash. That will just disappear in a minute. So all the contrasting stitching on there, really nice. No damage on the bars down there. If I open up the back again the shots. Now there's, on these vehicles, they have like a, a see-through plastic sort of protective and all on the edges, it just gets the little bits of dirt underneath and um, you can't really clean it. You'd have to take them all off and it really isn't worth the bother because they're just gonna go like it again. All the headlining's nice. Back of the seats and the lever in the rear. This all pops, uh, pops down. There's two storage boxes underneath for the jack, etc. just under the seats there. And then the door card again, no damage on there apart from there is a little bit of scuffing just on this plastic here. But other than that, nothing nasty, all in lovely condition for a vehicle of this age. I want to show you the back window area and the top. And then all around the filler cap. And what's also nice is you've got these lovely flared arches. It's 
It's got that sort of Tonka toy look. So it's coming. So let's release that. That all pops up. The tailgate comes down. I'll just come back out so you can get a good look. So on occasions I have left the top up and just tied down anything I needed to carry in the boot. Basically we were moving home and uh, I needed a vehicle that was going to be quite practical so I decided to go into a, a, a truck or a pickup and I've got hooked. I've got another one now and uh, I really enjoy driving them. Been driving a lot of different BMWs and Mercedes for years, and now I'm driving a truck. That's what my little girl calls it anyway, a truck. She always wants to come out and greet me when I come home and put the lights on for her, bless her. But as you can see, really nice condition. So uh, it's always better to close the top down and it locks in either side and then just slide this up and there's a rubber there and this seals across there. If I put, let's just make sure I've put that in enough. Let's do that again. And I've sort of set that up so it's a nice snug fit. There's this protector that goes along the top here, which I think I'm gonna to have to get one of these for the other one because it's really handy having that because they seem to get damaged on there quite often. And then we've got the lights down there, etc. Mud guards. <laughs> I nearly bought a set of mud guards when I was thinking what I, I could put on the truck. And then I looked at it and I thought, it's already got mud guards on it. I was getting overexcited. But a really, really nice vehicle, this. I'll just bring you in and show you this side. Again, we've got that same little bit of scuffing on that silver. I haven't actually phoned Toyota to see how much they are. It might be that they're quite inexpensive, but I haven't bothered to touch the bing. I wanted you to see it as it was um, because they're quite minor little defects. Let's just show you all round. But this is the bit, all the seals all the way up and around, there's no damage there. Let's come back out. And then the interior, as I say, all the levers in really nice condition. So let's open up the, let's just turn those lights off for a second. So the driver's door card. Again, you know, really good condition, to be honest with you. Um, a few minor little bits of scuff there, little, little tiny one. But other than that, and the floor, the carpets are all good. They haven't been worn through or anything. And importantly, this seal along here, it hasn't been worn through with grit, I suppose, depending on who's had the vehicle. It depends on the sort of use that they get. Got the Hilux imprint in the lever there. And that, by the way, it is literally, but I just come out of it. It's where my elbow was leaning on it earlier. We we're cleaning all the seats in really nice condition. Steering wheel as well. And then we've got the flashing lights. I'll pop them on and go around the vehicles just so you can. Uh... So it's got these warning lights on it. Flash at the back as well. Now these can easily be changed for um, an LED light on the top if you wanted. You could disconnect these ones or change them. I think the previous owner um, was a landscape gardener. So I think that's possibly why they were put on for when he's taking his uh, lawnmowers from the, the small trailer that he had. All 
all in really nice condition around there. Let's jump in. Oh, before we do, let me get the key out of my pocket. Okay. So we get the ignition on if I shut the door. You have to give these doors quite a push, they seal. Darius, you left it in gear. Sorry about that. So there we go, 19,070 miles. All of the uh, instrument lens is all nice and scratch free. There were a couple of little light scratches, but we managed to machine polish that up because I'm a bit fussy. And then we've got folding mirrors, fog lights, washer jets for the lights as well. We've got um, Bluetooth for the music, just turn it on just to make sure that's turned down because they won't like it. Uh, now it doesn't have DAB, but what I always did was just stream um, one of the DAB stations through their app, um, through my phone, so I could listen to any channels uh, that were DAB, so that was fine. Sat nav system, it's okay, it gets you there. Quite often I use my phone, just being completely honest. Toyo, I don't think Toyota are big on their sat nav, but it does have it. And then we've got climate control down here. Put it on cold, let's put the aircon on. The aircon is lovely and cold in here, and it really does go down cold, nice and cold. All the air vents we've got closed off there. We've got um, volume control mode for the media etc phone and then over on this side um, display button do you know what I don't think I've ever used that display that is for the display button do you know I've never used that button so you can flick through 26 degrees in here 24.8 I do about six miles into work so that's not bad actually does more on a run of course the fog lights etc and then down here we have got um, a USB and an auxiliary just in there can't see to put that back in we've got a 12 volt socket there and a, another one on this side which doesn't have a, a rubber cover on this side for some reason it's not meant to have either by the looks of it and then we've got our four-wheel drive system so you've got two wheel high, you've then got four wheel high, and then low and neutral. There are five speed gearbox. Got a little compartment down here. Got more storage in here, nice and handy. Sunglasses up here. We've also got all of the books, the service book I've got out on the side. It's just had a service about a month or so ago and a new MOT, as I mentioned, we did the, um, the springs. And I'm just gonna pop the bonnet. So Darius is gonna come and help open the bonnet because it's a little bit heavy to do with the phone. But all lovely and clean in here. Um, and also last year I put new discs and pads on the front. So let's jump out and show you the engine bay. Oh, we've got cruise control, I forgot to mention. Just down here as well. Get this back in focus. So like I say, all of the service items are up to date. Brake fluid was changed, air filter. Um, that's the clutch for the air conditioning kicking in. We've got two batteries. Let's say it's the D4D engine. And then Darius is just gonna close that down for me. 
as it's quite a heavy bonnet to close just um, and Darius could you turn it off for me as well thanks Darius so there we have it that's our 2016 Hilux Invincible double cab with just over 19,000 miles Don't think you'll find a cleaner one. It's come up really well. Please give us a call with any questions. I'm not too sure if I've remembered to say everything, but uh, a really nice wagon and uh, I hope to speak to you soon. Take care, thanks for watching, bye.